What's up, family? We have some major scary news to share with you today regarding our Social Security recipients. Could they be on the verge of having their monthly checks delayed? I have some details that I want to share with you today in this video. Also, it looks like some new cuts are headed our way to Social Security, uh, which could affect millions of Americans that rely on this program on a monthly basis. We have some new presidential candidates that are going public about reducing the amount of Social Social Security benefits that they receive every single month. Find out before it's time to vote for them. Starting off, guys, with a little bit of weekend recap, and that is because we had another mass shooting. Unfortunately, guys, uh, this particular time, at least six people are dead, as well as 26 others have been injured after a violent weekend of shootings in just Chicago. And yes, guys, the identified victims were between the ages of 13 and 64 years old. Such a wide variety of individuals that were caught up in these particular mass shootings. Uh, but anyways, guys, we definitely want to keep those individuals in our prayers as well as their family, their friends, and their loved ones. We definitely don't want to see news like this. But unfortunately, uh, that looks like what we have to see every single weekend when it comes to uh, gun violence as well as the uh, multiple mass shootings that we continue to see on a daily basis. So uh, like I said, I will solicit you guys to go ahead and send up your prayers in the meantime. And uh, hopefully we will continue to pray for those individuals. Uh, moving on guys we do have a little bit of scary news because uh, they are warning us that the government could actually have a government shutdown again just when we thought that uh, we don't have to worry about this since the debt ceiling was passed a few months ago well unfortunately guys uh yes uh, senator coons is warning of a government shutdown he said look we will scare the hell out of you. Uh, but anyways, guys, Senator Chris Coons warned on Friday that a government shutdown appears very likely as Congress faces down a September deadline to pass its annual spending bills. Said in a statement that, look, we are going to scare the hell out of you, he said during an Aspen security forum. Uh, but anyways, guys, in regards to the debt ceiling on the default, uh, he said that, look, we came right to the end on that situation. We're going to have a government shutdown because we're going a fight between the House and the Senate about appropriations. And maybe, I sure hope not, but we keep coming right up to the very close end. And it looks like that is probably what's going to happen again sometime at the end of the summertime. Uh, but anyways, guys, lawmakers have until the end of September to pass the 12 annual appropriation bills to fund the government. But Will the August recess break, which is approaching, uh, they are staring down a very tight deadline. But anyways, guys, he said, in the end, it is exactly these kind of gentlemen with whom I am able to work and where we are able to continue to deliver sustained, strong, forward-leaning initiatives around strengthening our country, our defense, our military, our manufacturing, and our judicial system. So uh, anyways, guys, he said that, look, it's really only because of the personal relationships that are at the core of the Senate that we're still able to work together. But anyways, guys, you're probably asking, what does this have to do about Social Security? Well, uh, this is because you guys don't recall, but during the debt ceiling deal, uh, during all of that negotiations, it was a scaring uh, time because uh, Social Security checks were on the menu. And yes, guys, as the government was continuing to reach closer to having a government shutdown, the biggest question was whether or not uh, those government checks, those social security checks were actually going to be delayed. And yes, guys, that is exactly probably what we are going to be seeing if we are faced with the same thing once again during the signing of these 12 appropriation bills, the government could be on the verge of another shutdown. Apparently, they just can't do their jobs in enough time to avoid something like this from happening. And as you can see right here in this particular article, guys, it says that congressional lawmakers believe a government shutdown is likely with the summer recess break approaching very soon. Congress has one week left before its August recess break, and some lawmakers believe a government shutdown is likely as they approach a September deadline to pass 
the spending bills. Congressional reporter for the Wall Street Journal uh, and The Hill said that they are discussing these things right now in which the deadline is looming very fast. Apparently they have one more week, guys. And yes, guys, the biggest question that a lot of people have been asking in the comment section is whether or not their Social Security checks are going to be delayed if they end up having a government shutdown because that is exactly what uh, we were discussing a few months ago during the debt ceiling deal negotiations as well. So, and here we are. But I want to remind you guys that during that particular time, there was some new measures put into place, which makes it very hard that uh, the Social Security checks will actually be delayed. Yes, guys, they have actually fixed that problem in which we no longer have to worry about it. So that is the good news, guys, that I wanted to bring to you today that you do not have to worry about it. Even if the government shut down, they have already put things in place. They already have the money sitting there waiting in the trust fund in which they can continue to have the Treasury send out those monthly checks, those monthly Social Security checks to those individuals that receive SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, and all of the above. You will continue to receive your monthly checks on time. They will not be delayed. So I definitely wanted to share that information with you because a lot of you have been asking me in the comment section, and I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So, so anyways, guys, that is the good news. But unfortunately, I do have a little bit of bad news that I want to share with you as well. There is some danger around the corner in regards to our Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDIVA beneficiaries, all of the above. Uh, previously on a couple of videos ago, we talked about how Social Security was looking a little bit better as the uh, 2024 COLA increase is continuing to increase just a little bit, which is great news, which means that our recipients are going to possibly be receiving a nice COLA increase for the 2024 year. So, and that is some good news that pretty much came from the recent uh, CPI numbers that we received earlier last month in which uh, it was looking pretty good for our Social Security recipients, guys. And I believe that I reported to you guys that so far as of last month or earlier this month for the June numbers in regards to the CPI numbers, it was showing from an estimate perspective that the COLA increase was going to be around 2.7%. So uh, that was showing in a very positive way. But unfortunately, guys, we are seeing some new information that is being released by some individuals that are actually running for the next presidential election. And yes, guys, as you can see right here that uh, these particular two individuals right here, which is the former vice president, Mike Pence, and the current governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, who are both running for the 2024 presidential election. Uh, yes, guys, they are considered Donald Trump's rivals in regards to the GOP. And yes, guys, they said that uh, during some recent press releases that they are open the door uh, to cutting Social Security for younger people. Yes, guys, this is startling because previously we heard from the House Speaker, which is on the GOP side, Kevin McCarthy, in which he stated that, look, we don't want to touch Social Security. We want to leave it alone. However, he was pretty much saying that during the negotiations, during the debt ceiling negotiations, and uh, here we are again, fast forward, guys, and now we are seeing more Republicans talking about making some cuts, some drastic cuts to Social Security. They want to cut the benefits down. They also want to cut... Uh, what type and who can actually receive Social Security moving forward, considering that the Social Security program is in a little bit of danger, considering that it could run insolvent by the year of 2032, 33, whichever they uh, have right now in regards to the estimate. But anyways, guys, uh, in this particular article, it talks about three of Donald Trump's rivals for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination are pushing for cuts to Social Security benefits that would only affect younger Americans as the party leaders grapple with the explosive politics of the retirement program. And in the comments on this past Sunday, guys, yesterday it said that uh, this was released in some interviews earlier this year, uh, but Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said that Social Security will need to be revamped, but not for people who are near or in retirement as of right now. And then we also heard from the former Vice President Mike Pence and the former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley 
uh, they have both taken similar positions since launching their presidential campaigns as well. And from the earliest days of the 2016 run, Trump has vowed not to touch either Social Security or either Medicare, a break from GOP or the doxy that has shifted the party's views altogether and has more recently been hammered by Ron DeSantis for wanting to cut the program altogether. And in a statement directly from the Florida governor, he said that, look, when people say that they're going to somehow cut seniors, that is totally not true, according to Ron DeSantis during a Fox News uh, news conference. But anyways, he went on to say that talking about making changes for people in their 30s and their 40s so that the program can be much viable, that's a much different thing. And something I think that there's going to be a need to be a discussion on, he said. And then on Monday, uh, former Vice President Mike Pence told Fox Business that I'm glad to see another candidate in this primary has been willing to step up and talk about this particular topic in regards to what we need to do for the social security program. It needs to be reformed and somebody's got to do something about it. But Mike Pence is happy that at least somebody is actually talking about it as of now. From the GOP side, we already know what the Democrats say on their side. They just want to keep the program all together. They want to keep it. They want to put more money into it. They want to make sure that it pretty much gives out money to everybody. But the Republicans, they want to fix the program a little bit, if you will. But uh, anyways, guys, these particular positions of the three individual Trump rivals are taking suggestions that even the fiscally conservative candidates in the GOP presidential primary are reluctant to endorse cutting Social Security for seniors, elderly individuals, and all of the above, which is highlighting just how much the party has shifted on this particular issue. And that has probably been steerheaded by the former president, Donald Trump, because just like he said, he does not think that they need to touch Social Security at all. And in fact, during the Biden running for the presidential nomination, he also, uh, Donald Trump, reached out to the other GOP uh, Republicans and told them that they better not touch Social Security or Medicare as well, giving them a warning message that that could pretty much just ruin the opportunity for the Republicans to win the next nomination. So uh, anyways, guys, we'll just have to see if these particular GOP rivals are actually stepping away from the uh, politics, if you will, from the former President Donald Trump in which they are going to be pushing their own in regards to making sure that cuts are made to both Social Security and Medicare. So uh, anyways, guys, it does look like that Ron DeSantis has a pretty good chance of winning the nomination. But if he does, what could this mean for our Social Security recipients? Uh, well, guys, we'll just have to see. But that is something that we have to look forward to. That is the danger that lies ahead of us. And we need to be aware of this because we don't want anyone touching these particular programs. But anyways, guys, what do you think about this? Do you think that this is a good option? Do you think that they need to change the way Social Security is done for a younger individuals in their 30s and their 40 years old and just leave the old individuals alone? Uh, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section, guys. I'm curious to see how you feel about uh, this particular uh, things that are on the table right now. But uh, anyways, guys, like I said, danger is ahead. But other than that, guys, I hope all this information in this video was helpful helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, that's all we have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a few opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash, such as signing up with Webull, where they are giving away 12 free stocks after you sign up and deposit at least one penny. Now, the good news is that those 12 free stocks can actually be valued at $3,000, and all you have to do is either cash them in and then withdraw your money back into your bank account, or you can keep that to start off your investing journey. But either way, it is a great opportunity for you to take advantage of right now and it doesn't cost you that much. So if you are interested, be sure to check out that link down below in the description as well as the other opportunities. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.